Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we look how to import animation from other applications beside the poser and one of them is actually free to use. It's called Daz Studio. It's available on daz3d.com and I will provide link to this. It's total free application and best part of this it's come with a free content pack. For example in our tutorial we'll use it Victoria 4. So let's open here and by the way if you open like this you cannot have it figures so click just an assign we'll go to figures as people we'll just load it the victoria model so here we have it our model we can apply animations and animate her by um clicking on the parts and moving the parameters if we want it but other things for example Puppet Master or Power Pose, so we can go inside and just you can see by dragging and clicking. Very easy to use, very intuitive, very nice to set up application and animate this way. But also another thing which is very nice addition was just to release it. It's called animation, animation timeline or whatever any timeline. Um, if you open what is coming right now you can see the top and a lot of pre-default already animations and all what you need to do for this just drag and drop them so let's go for example click on dance we have it right now you can see many open when we move out we can see uh, this applying and you'll just drop and drag those presets of course you can create your own presets if you want it and save them and share with other people so let's go spin once, spin twice, well, and spin one more time. So this is actually quite a bit long. I'll move it a little bit out of screen so we can preview. Okay, and let's go play. We can see right here. There's our animation. So, okay, we're done with this animation. Let's go right now, save it. And one of the best way to save uh, does provide with a lot of options. I like to use actually export and I like to use the Collada format. Of course, if you want, you can use it there, any other ones, but I found this one work actually very good. So let's call Biki. The options what we want to include one, be sure the animation is on also include transformation and include morphs is enabled okay this is what will save our animations um rest access a little bit by default okay same as all other settings let's click accept and it will start creating our document now so i will pause in the time when it's creating it's actually doing very fast and switch back to the our vue application so we can start loading from here so let's go to file and let's go import our object so inside we can find the folders where we save our wiki so we'll just click click ok okay we'll just leave it as default and here you go it start loading the object because if your timeline is not enabled it will pop up with a wizard we'll just click to disable and you can notice we have a timeline down right here one thing sometimes scale you may we scale up to what do you like it and we'll go ahead take our main camera move a little bit this way so and right here we have it our wiki dancing so here is a preview you can see Here we have a twist all this other stuff done okay let's go to just apply atmosphere make it look a bit nicer take our camera just a little bit above of course we can animate slightly camera click it and give a different preview and again um one nice things when we animate it because we preset remember what you have with your settings for example we'll go with 24 frames 
okay and i want to set list broadcast quality so i have it a kind of motion blur as well this will give it more realistic let's go ahead and render our animation right now okay so here we're done animating and we can preview i also add a little bit motion to the camera but you can see how it's easy and it's look very natural with nice lighting again we render in a we can increase settings, a little bit more with light, but it's very easy how to create animation for the objects inside the free dance studio and import it. And you don't need necessarily uh, use the animate plugin. You can just use the puppet master. But again, this is a one way to import your animated figures. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.